guys, I am Emna Bay of Vyans Medical Academy is here to describe about microbes in human welfare. My subtopics are microbes in household products, microbes in industrial scale which is classified into beverages and antibiotics, chemicals, enzymes and bioactive molecules. Before going to these topics, first let me give a clear clarity about microbes. The branch of science which deals with study of different microorganisms is called microbiology. Do you know who is the father of microbiology? Louis Pasteur is the father of microbiology. Besides macroscopic plants and animals, microbes are major components of life on earth. They are omnipresent. Not all microbes are pathogenic, but many are useful to man in various ways. Microbes in bacteria are rod shape and spherical shape. This rod shape bacteria possesses plasma. Microbes in virus are bacteriophage and adenovirus. Adenovirus causes respiratory infections. Microbes in household products. We use many microbes and microbially derived products almost every day. The most common example is production of curd from milk. Microorganisms such as lactobacillus and others commonly called as lactic acid bacteria, which is grown in milk, is used to convert into curd. It improves in nutritional quality by increasing vitamin B12. Similarly, the dough which is used for making bread is fermented by Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is also called as Baker's yeast. We all like cheese. Have you ever wondered why cheese poses large holes? This is due to the production of CO2 gas by the bacterium Propylobacterium shermanum. In this cheese, we use many microbes to synthesize various products. This requires growing microbes in large vessels called fermenters. Microbes in beverages are Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the yeast, which is used to produce many beverages like wine, beer, whiskey, brandy, and rum. Whiskey, brandy, and rum is produced with distillation, while wine, beer is produced without distillation. The same is Saccharomyces cerevisiae is used. Ferment malted cereals and fruit juices, which produce ethanol. It is also used to produce bread, which is also called as Brewer's yeast. Next, antibiotics. The chemical substance, which is produced by different microorganisms, which kills disease-causing microbes, is called antibiotics. Anti is a Greek word, which means against, and bio means life, which means against life. Today, we cannot imagine our world without the word antibiotic. Uh, do you know which is the first antibiotic to be discovered? It is penicillin discovered by Alexander Fleming while working on Staphylococcus bacteria. Much later, Earth Jane and Howard Florey used this antibiotic to treat American soldiers who are wounded in World War II. They won Nobel Prize in 1945. Next, coming to a very important topic, Chemicals, enzymes, and bioactive molecules. Aspergillus niger is a fungus of citric acid. Estobacter st is a bacterium of acetic acid. Clostridium butyricum is a bacterium of butyric acid. Lactobacillus is a bacterium of lactic acid. Lipiasis are used to remove oily stains. We all have noticed that. Bottle juices which are brought from market are clearer as compared to that are made at home. This is due to bottle juices are clarified by pectinases and proteases. Streptomyces is produced by Streptococcus bacterium which is used as clot buster. It removes clots from blood vessels of patients. Chlorus cyclosporin A is produced by Trichoderma polysporum is a fungus used as immunosuppressive agent in organ transplant patients. Next, coming to another bioactive molecule statins, is produced by yeast monoscus purpureus, which is blood cholesterol lowering agent. So, I conclude this by conveying that microbes play a very important role in human welfare of society. We as Medical Academy wishes you a very good luck for me 2020.